What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones, representing Palm Chasers. All right, before we start the video, you might hear a little noise in the background. We got Bruno over here taking a nap, and English Bulldogs tend to snore pretty loud, and their farts are deadly. Anybody has an English Bulldog knows exactly what I'm talking about, them farts. They are like deadly toxic gas. But anyway, guys, okay, so a uh, video I posted a, a week or two ago, um, does dieting fuck up your social life? Um, we discussed possibly using some of my old videos to share my progress, to share where I came from, but to also give you guys lessons that can help you. This is one of those videos. This video is going to be, we're going to talk about how I went from about 180 pounds lean to 190 pounds lean naturally. Also, how I built my legs, okay? So how I went from 180 pounds lean to about 190 pounds lean and how I brought up my legs, okay? So, fun story about me, fun fact for the people that are new to the channel. This is not my first YouTube channel. My first YouTube channel was called Physiques of Greatness. Even though I'm not very active, those videos are still up. So if you want to get to know me, go to that channel. Look at some of my old videos, all right? I started YouTube uh, December 2011, pretty much January 2012. And I was already in shape. I wasn't the YouTuber who was skinny or fat or skinny fat and vlogging my journey, hoping people watch. I was already pretty much in shape. And I was trying to use YouTube as a way to get me some clients so I can make me some money. Cause I, just, I was just a struggling trainer working at a commercial gym. And anybody working at a commercial gym knows that the gym takes so much of your profits. You know, it's kind of like being a barber where you pay your rent. It's worse than that. Like commercial gyms take so much of your money. So even though I was training people uh, five days a week, I still barely had enough money to do extra things. So I was trying to use YouTube as a way to get clients, you know, to make meal plans for and things like that. But fuck all that, right? So um, I was already in shape, guys. I was about 180 pounds lean. Before I do, I just want to let y'all know, hey, I'm in the Dallas area. If you're looking for a trainer after the holidays to work them roles off, hey, I'm your guy. And if you don't stay in the Dallas area, or hell, if you're just too fucking cheap to get a personal trainer, just subscribe to my YouTube page and learn all you can, please do. And as you see, I'm promoting myself as a trainer, right? And I'm going to post some clips overlaying this video as I talk. So enjoy these clips, guys. So as you see in this clip right here, I'm in the yoga room doing some posing practice. I still do posing practice to this day. It's, it's, it's not just a way of flexing your body. It's really a good workout, believe it or not. It's a very good isometric workout. It teaches you how to control your body, how to control your transverse abdominis. And it's a good way to engage my muscle connection. Connection. Actually, my back training, when I do my lat pull downs, my rows, I would have to say practicing my posing so much really helped me engage my lats, really helped me retract my scapula, uh, really helped me squeeze my pecs when I'm doing my flies. I owe a lot of that to posing practice. So as you see in this posing video, I'm not too shabby. I'm in the low 180s. I'm not shredded. To get shredded, I probably would have to go to about 165 or 170. But, you know, I'm in the low 180s. Not too shabby. Pretty lean. Relatively lean. And a question I would get all the time is, wow, you got a great upper body. Let's see those legs. Let's see those legs. Now, this kind of made me uncomfortable. Because at this time, I mean... I had decent legs. You can look at my legs and clearly tell I work them. But compared to my upper body, especially my back width, they just didn't match my upper body. You feel me? And uh, But I was like, fuck it. Let me go ahead and show my legs anyway. And after watching that video, which I'm showing to you right now, if you're watching this video, you can see it right here. They just, they could use some work. Now keep in mind guys, I've always been the lean round, the lean year round guy. You know, I've always preached, I stay lean year round. I was proud of that. I was always the lean year round guy. A lot of y'all probably like, damn, nah, you ain't bucking up. You still cut. Hey, I stay lean 
all year long. You know, whole ready. You know, having visible abs, not shredded abs, but having visible abs, looking fit year round. But I was like, man, it's time to make a change. By this time, I think I was in the gym in about I was in the gym about six years. Wasn't really making no more no more significant gains. It's time to try something different. You know what I mean? So I'm like, fuck it. I'm gonna give bulking a try. I'm gonna give bulking a try. Now around this time, my leg routines were very simple, guys. I had very simple leg routines. You know, um, very simple leg routines. I would do like some back squats. I would do some leg press, some walking lunges, some leg curls, calf raises, and that's it. Five or six exercises, and I'm out of there. So, I, oh Bruno. So, I decided to increase my leg training volume by adding another exercise for my quads, adding another exercise for my hams, and bulk. So, calorie surplus and increasing my, my, my workload. You know what I mean? My overall training volume, my overall workload, and getting stronger. So, a few YouTube buddies I was watching at the time, one in particular name was Chris Lovato, right? Real good friend from Matt Ogus, right? And he was front squatting, and this guy has some great quads. I believe he started front squatting because he hurt his lower back, and, you know, with front squats, if you really keep your core nice and tight, your kinetic chain very tight, it can really be, really be better on your lower back. So, I was like, fuck it, let me give these front squats a try, right? I've always heard about them, but I never gave them a try. So, I threw in front squats. Check out this clip right here. The first exercise I'm gonna do, I'm actually trying something new. I've been starting off my leg routine for the past two years with back squats. I decided to try front squats about a week ago. So please keep in mind, this is my first time really doing this shit. I'm still kind of getting the hang of the form. This is really uncomfortable for me compared to back squats, but I'm still getting the hang of it. Okay, so my first working set, I go with two plates and I keep the rep range between 8 to 15 reps. Meaning, if I get more than 15 reps, I will increase the weight. But most likely, that won't be happening anytime soon. So as you see from that clip right there, I clearly said I'm giving front squats a try and I was pathetic. I, I started off doing like 135 or two plates or so. And, you know, it was hard as fuck to keep my body straight. It was just a struggle. But that helped me. That taught my body a new movement. You know, so one thing I learned is this. If you got any weak points, guys, it may be a good idea to just try a whole other movement. You know what I mean? Try a new movement and get stronger at that. It's almost like, in a way, making beginner gains. So what I did was I replaced my back squats with front squats now, I was back squatting around this time, 315 for sets of 12, 4, 5, for like sets of 6 to 8. So, going from that to doing 185 for sets of 8, you're losing so much volume, you're losing so much workload. So, I would do my front squats, right? And then I would do some hack squats to make up for it. You know, so I would do front squats, hack squats, leg press, and lunges. Four exercises for quads and of course my hamstring work and I would do that along with bulking I ended up bulking to about 205 to 210 pounds right and I got a little posing update right here listen to this clip right here but uh anyway it's time to show y'all what time it is keep in mind I'm bulking I'm bulking hard and I'm not looking my fucking best so as you see I wasn't really happy with showing you guys my physique because I just wasn't happy with the way I looked. I was strong as I've ever been, and I was clearly making some good progress on my legs, but I just wasn't that happy with the way I looked. And I'm so glad I'm showing you this now. I'm so glad <coughs> that uh, I ended up showing you this posing video because the transformation was great. After I cut down, I look so much better than I did before I started bulking. I bulked for about seven months, seven to eight months, and I made 
I gained like a few pounds of, of lean, good muscle, put some good size on my legs, and I just looked overall more polished. And I'm like, damn, by this time, I'm front squatting like maybe 275 for sets of six. I'm getting stronger in my front squats. I put more muscle on my body. I'm looking better. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to bulk again, but instead of bulking at 205, 210, we're going to go to about 215. Fuck it. Now, keep in mind, I'm only 5'7". I'm not some 6-foot tall guy or some 6-foot 2 guy. I'm 5'7". Honestly, being 180 is already pretty heavy. So, bulking at 210, and keep in mind, a lot of that is fat. I didn't look the best. So I'm going I'm to show you some posing footage right now, right? As you see, I'm not looking too lean. I'm not looking too great. I'm looking fat, right? No, definitely not looking my best. But, guys, let me tell you, this was probably the time I made my best gains. Around this time, I was front squatting 315 for sets of six now. Instead of 275, front squatting 315 for sets of six, right? Building more muscle in my legs, you know, just overall making more progress. All right. So I cut down again. And as you guess, I look even better than the last time. By this time, I'm getting addicted to the bulking shit. And I'm pretty sure there's still videos floating around on YouTube. Some of them probably erased, but you type in Chris Jones, Dirty Bulking, you might see a few people that tried to follow my footsteps. People were getting so impressed with the results I was getting, they decided to try for themselves. For disclaimer, if you're going to bulk, you better get stronger and push yourself in the gym. Just eating more food is not enough. You still got to make more progress in the gym. You got to lift more weight than you did the last year to get more bigger muscles. You got to give those muscles a reason to want to grow. So after that, I decided to do another dirty bulk. And you get the point, guys. You know, I dirty bulked again to about 225. The fattest I've ever been, but the strongest I've ever been. And, you know, as you can guess, cut down again look even better so pretty much man i just kept bulking and cutting bulking and cutting bulking and cutting i did like one lean bulk two filthy dirty bulks and then the rest just mini bulks here and there like the bulk i just did i did like a five month mini bulk you know what i mean so the point i'm trying to make is do some bulks or some mini bulks and cut just going back and forth making progress that's really the way to grow naturally. You know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta go through phases where you're bulking and cutting. You know, people on steroids, they do their cycling, they do their blasting, they do their cruising. But in natural bodybuilding, you gotta go through the surpluses. And that's what I did. Just either long surpluses or short surpluses. And you will see improvements in your physique. Now, look at these clips right here. Look at these clips right here. Now, you saw how my legs looked in 2012. This is how my legs look now. Bigger, harder, separated, and most of all, stronger. Also, on my last bulk, look at this clip right here for my last bulk. I worked my way up to a 425 pound front squat, and I believe I front squatted 405 for like two or three reps. So what you got? Come on. Up. Yes, sir. Come in, girl. That's it. Let's go. Up. Come on, beast boy. Woo. So I got even stronger. So to wrap this video up without holding you guys too long, how I got myself from 180 to 190 lean, not shredded, but relatively lean, is going through surpluses and being patient. You know, 2012, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, we're not going to count 18. 
that's a little under two pounds a year of muscle gained. That's how bodybuilding works, guys, and natural bodybuilding. You're not gonna, now, if you were to take steroids or go on a nice juicy cycle, you can make those gains in one, in maybe four months. You can put on 20 pounds of muscle, shit, on your first cycle, in about four or five months if you cycle properly with the with with some good pharmaceutical grade shit. But in natural bodybuilding, you want to put on, you know, 10 pounds of quality muscle after training for some time, you gotta be patient. It can take you five, six, high, no, no telling how many years it can take, depending on your genetics. The most gains you're gonna make as a natural lifter is your first four years. In your first four years, you better make those first four years count. After that, your progress is not gonna stop, but it's gonna be very slow. You know, my first four years of training, my progress went pretty much like this. And then once I got to my sixth year, that's when I started doing those bulks. And I started making slow progress, not fast, but definitely slow, steady progress. So the pump time makers, guys, after you get the most of your newbie gains and you stop seeing significant strength and significant growth, you may want to bulk. And I'm not telling you to dirty bulk, but it definitely works. And if you're not going to dirty bulk, at least go on a nice, long, lean bulk. All right? And of course, for the legs, man, either get stronger or add more volume. In my opinion, man, strength takes too much time. Let's say, for an example, you've been working out for fucking five or six years and your maximum back squat is 450. What are you gonna do? Try to work your way up to a 400, to a, to a 550 pound back squat? That can take you another three years to do. Why not just add another exercise with four sets? That's gonna take your working load up significantly. It's gonna, you're gonna get very sore. You're probably gonna get very tired, but over time, you're gonna adapt to that. It's gonna become easy. You're gonna get stronger at that new exercise, and guess what? You're gonna make quicker growth. Can people tell you all the time, get stronger, get stronger. Motherfucker, that's easier said than done. We are human, okay? We have human limits. You can't just get stronger, get stronger, get stronger, motherfucker. Eventually, strength is gonna stop. If you could just get stronger, get stronger, get stronger, we will all be bitch pressing a thousand pounds. At some point, the strength gains are gonna slow down or stop altogether. So to offset that, how about get more volume? Instead of doing three sets on the bench, do five sets on the bench. You know what I mean? After your bench press, let's burn out with some machine press. That could be your new exercise you add. So to wrap this video up, you want to get bigger muscles, gain more weight, do some bulks. You want to get bigger legs or any body part, more volume. And that's it, guys. If you're looking for a good program, easy to follow, with high volume, go to getholeready.com. My training programs are high volume, no hippie shit, and best of all, they come with tutorial videos, not some picture of some guy lifting weights where you gotta read a whole paragraph how to perform it. You get videos teaching you how to do every movement. As always, guys, thank you for your support. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, give it a share, help your boy out, and let me know what you think in the comment section below. And one more thing, are you team Dirty Bulk? or are you team lean bulk? I've done both, okay? Comment below, I'm very curious to see what kind of guy we got following us. Are we got some dirty bulkers in the comment section or do we got some lean bulkers in the comment section? And I'm out this bitch. Don't forget to like my shit, comment, subscribe. Ugh, buy 30 of them bitches, cause Bruno, he's taking a nap right now and he's dreaming about those treats. Holla back at your boy.